any surprises for you? Yeah, well, maybe some names who thought they might be out of contention a few weeks ago because Gareth Southgate has brought players back who haven't been playing for England for some time. So you've got the Manchester United striker, Marcus Rashford. He's back in for the first time since playing his last game for England in the Euros final in 2021. Of course, the game they lost on penalties to Italy. Two players have come back into the England squad for the first time since 2019. You've got James Madison, who's been so impressive for Leicester recently that his inclusion made his case to actually come back into the fold. And that really is seeing Gareth Southgate being a lot more daring with this. The fact he's also brought Conor Gallagher in, the Chelsea player, who's also barely featured for England. So this is the moment Gareth Southgate knows he has to deliver after reaching the semi-finals of the World Cup in 2018 the final of the Euros in 21. He's been in the job six years, longer than uh, most of his predecessors. So this is the squad he hopes can deliver at a tournament like no other. We're not heading to the World Cup like normal in June and July. This is a winter World Cup starting, as you say, in barely over a week in November into December. Gareth Southgate will be hoping to reach that final on December the 18th in Qatar and give England their first World Cup since 1966. But... He's got an anxious few days ahead because there's still one more round of Premier League games to go, given this, uh, this date of the World Cup before they do fly out early next week after gathering here at St George's Park.